Hello guys, welcome to Macafilly TV and I hope you are doing well today. So, today is going to be a tribute to the first of pe the people that I have helped have significant um, success in battling social anxiety. There's been three people, one of them I've already said, it's uh, that person is Sarah, and you know you can watch the video on her um, through a link that I'm going to put down below. But this, but that was the first video I've done. But the first person who I helped was a person I'm going to say now, and the next person who I will say is the latest person who I've helped, who I'm looking to talk about in the future. So. Uh, with these three people, they've, they've all people who I've met on the social anxiety support forum and they did ask specifically, they did, didn't did ask me for help but they posted out um, threads asking for help. I offered the help and in all three cases they um, were very... Um, forward thinking they were very um, focused on getting the job done and they was not really down for um, messing about or you know making me a therapist they just wanted to you know succeed and that's exactly the, the type of person who I was uh, expecting of the social anxiety community the fact is uh, these are there's nobody on this I will not I won't say nobody but there's very 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 few people who I've met who are like that let alone have gone to that level of success but that's this is what the video is not about them it's about um the person in general with so her name um I think I could say her name I can just say it no well I'll just call her, I'll just call her Abby for now, and I helped her in started in August, from August to October. Um, so what her issue was was she was a recovering agoraphobic. Okay, so she was I think about seventeen or eighteen years old, and what she was doing was she was pushing herself, trying to push herself to be social. And make friends but in her words wasn't receiving much success so um she posted out on the social anxiety forum asking for advice on how to make friends and i sent her a private message offering her help it wasn't the 12 week thing which um you guys should know about but it was a offer of help so with her she lives in a very apart from not really liking to go outside much. Uh, she was on an online college, right? And she was in a very small town in um, countryside America. You know, uh, I think her town was like 3,000 people population. So the opportunities were quite uh, scarce. So as I talked to her, I'm used to people... Um, when I offer help, they're delaying or saying, oh, they're trying to make me the therapist, they're trying to go on with all their um, stories, which is not really, I don't, it seriously gets in the way of actually trying to make success of them. And I'll explain more about that in another video. But the point is with Abby, she just said straight away, yeah, um, I'm having a hard time, but uh, what do you want me to do? And so I said, you know, what opportunities are there? Are there any shops? Are there any community centres in your area? She said, well, there is a community centre um, in the other town. So they might have something. And I said to her, look, here's what I, here's what I think you should do. Go to the community centre. Get a leaflet of the things that are there. And get back to me. What she did was she went to that community centre. 
and immediately signed up for, uh, I think it was a um, arts class because she wanted to do it. It was five, it was for five weeks, but this is something that she signed up to straight away. You know, it was way beyond, you know, what I was expecting or the pace that I was expecting. So, and from that point on, she was just um, fantastic. Even before this arts class started, she um, went to a shop and uh, saw the, she went to like a fast food restaurant and saw the seller's uh, fingernails, you know, and she, like the design of the fingernails and she complimented the fingernails. So, you know, Abby, you know, complimented the person's fingernails, made her day. I didn't advise her to do that, but that was just something that she'd done. You know, she was very, for- like I say, she was very forward thinking. She was thinking on the ball, how do I think ahead in this? And so she goes through the arts class, having a great time. And what she did, she she was having a bit of trouble um, making friends because uh, but she, I don't think she was more focused on that I think she was more focused on the fact that she was having a good time and here's what happened midway through I'm going to read an email that she sent this was about you know one of her ask, up class dates so she says this the other day it didn't start out the best but it ended good I got really nervous before I went and overthought it I know I should enough but it kind of just happened I realised five minutes into the class that I was starting to have a panic attack as I couldn't breathe. So I went to the bathroom to calm down. And to be honest with panic attacks, me personally, I you know, I could I would excuse anybody. You know, I would allow them to skip the class if they're having a panic attack. Me personally, to me, Philip, I wouldn't make somebody go through uh, that quote, kind of trauma. So anyway, she continues. <clears throat> I stayed in there for a while, stayed in the bathroom, and was almost considering leaving, but I didn't. I went back and listened to the rest of the lesson before we started our next project. You know, at least that was amazing. But she continues, while we're planning out our paintings, a girl asked me for advice on what she should do. I helped her and she ended up introducing herself to me. We talked occasionally throughout the rest of the class and we said bye to each other when we left. I think I made a new friend. And, um, you know, uh, she was socialised, she interacted with somebody. Whether that person, you know, we would consider her a friend just because she talked to her, that's another matter. But the point is, not only did she make this friend, but she countered a panic attack. Which for social anxiety is seen as the extreme, the mo- probably the most extreme um, symptom of social anxiety. That's the thought. That's the um, the taboo. I mean, every you watch social anxiety advice videos, they'll say, "Listen, we'll help you out with eye contact, talking, everything." Not panic attacks. If it's a panic attack, then yeah, you need to you need some medication and therapies, but. This girl, Abby, she just said, yep, got a panic attack. Um, I could go home now, but I'm not going to. That's what got me. That's that's what gave me a lot of respect for her. So she continued the class, um, which was only about five weeks. So I don't know if, you know, she made any permanent friends from that. Um, During this time, she actually got a job. So, uh, once again, this was going, this is all within five weeks and going way beyond what I was expecting of her. Um, so I congratulated her on that. It's a pub, it was a, um, a public facing job. And this is from somebody who was formerly agoraphobic, you know? So I'm going to read to her. I'm going to read, I'm going to read the, um, post she put out on the forum. Okay, so here's a here it is. Um, it's entitled "Story Time: First Job, Overcoming Anxiety, and YouTube." So she says, 
I recently got my first job at Kroger after a long battle with social anxiety and agoraphobia. And I'm a part-time courtesy clerk, person who bags and gets carts, and it's a job I can actually do. I'm fast and precise, plus I don't have as much obligation to talk to customers like a cashier. For years, I've struggled with getting out of the house and making conversations with strangers, even keeping friends. I even had to be homeschooled um, my senior year of high school because panic attacks were happening daily. This has been a huge step in my recovery. I feel like this is the beginning of a slow transition to norm, normalcy. Might be normality, but okay. So um, then she goes on to say, I made a friend on SAS who's coached me throughout life events recently. Um, she's referring to myself, so I'll skip that. Um, but she does thank me, and um, she says, um, Me making YouTubes makes her want to have a YouTube share her experience on YouTube and help others. Um, and she asks, you know, if anybody has any stories or small steps you made in recovery, please do share. So she obviously wants to help the community as well. Um, I don't know if she actually went on to make YouTubes because YouTube videos, because I, to be honest, lost contact a bit. So she's just gone on to enjoy her life. I don't think she's really been in the social anxiety community because she's just, I imagine she's just so busy with work and um, also studying on the side. But the point is this, she encompasses like Sarah from previously. She encompasses what I was when I wanted to overcome social anxiety. I didn't want, I, I really do not want to connect with anybody or or find people that had social anxiety. I didn't know social anxiety as a term, you know, as I was overcoming it. But all I knew was it was so bad. I did not want anybody in the world to have what I had. You know, I thought, listen, I'm used, to, and even when I was overcoming it, I thought, I'm used to it. I've been with it for years. I'm built with it. I'm so glad nobody else has this. And even, and on discovering this um, social anxiety, online community thanks to you know the internet my first instinct is to help others get out of it and that's what i've done with um this uh with uh this fellow uh on time social anxiety sufferer and i'm so proud you know if you watch this i'm very proud of you and i know you're gonna lead an absolutely fulfilling life. Um, you're going to achieve all, all you want. You're going to make lots of friends. You're going to do traveling. You're going to do all of that. So keep up the good work. And uh, whatever happens on my channel, um, take note that my channel, it's intention. It, it was designed for people like you. So thank you again for making this channel worth it so take care guys and i hope you are inspired by that and when i say inspired i mean inspired to actually um do something because you should never give up you know if you're if you want to overcome it you know there's people like myself who are offering help but it's not enough that we're offering help you have to actually you know, accept that help or you have to be the one asking because um, there's only so much times that we're actually going to go around um, uh, offering before we decide, you know, you're happy with what you are and we're happy with what we are. So <sighs> thank you, Abby. Thank you, Sarah. And the other person who's a guy, uh, I'm just going to get him just probably want to get a bit more information from him about his uh, experience and then I'll read it back to you. Well, take care. Have a good one.